So for those of you that didn't see, a couple days ago I uploaded a cute little video where the premise was I would take a circle or a square or a star, basically any shape that could be defined as a curve, and I asked the question, you know, what would it sound like? Which is already like a nonsense question. And I answered it by basically saying, let's extract the Y coordinate. And uh, as we parameterize the thing, as a particle goes around, we play the pitch relative to that height, uh, which gave some kind of cute results so we can hear what different shapes sound like. And, you know, I thought that would be the end of it. Cute little video. Uh, <laughs> the people in the comments are a, a bunch of assholes. So everybody's going with their, um, actually, uh, it's a two-dimensional X and Y. Uh, so maybe the X-axis should be mapped to amplitude, volume, or a panning. So for all the people who think that video wasn't enough, first of all, this. And second of all, I can see your point. You fucking worms, teachers, pets. Either way, I see your point. So at this point, uh, let me remake the video, this time with also an x-axis. So uh, every shape I'm gonna separate into an x and a y-axis, uh, x being amplitude or panning. I think I'll make it volume. And uh, here's what shapes actually sound like two-dimensionally. You're welcome. Believe it or not, I'm still out here. This is a trail that just doesn't end, uh, but I think I've one or two miles left uh, either way. Uh, I wanted to say, take take somebody you're angry at, just think of that person, take all that venom, that anger, that rage you have towards them, and uh, direct it towards the subscribe button. This is a good use of your energy.